Good morning. Um, as said, my name is Velimatti Häkkinen and I work as a software designer uh, at the Open Science Center of the University of Jyväskylä. And today I am going to talk about you about a couple of applications uh, that are based on Koha REST API that we have, which we have developed developed. Uh, at first, a couple of slides about my organization. Uh, University of Jyväskylä is a multidisciplinary uh, university uh, that is located in Jyväskylä in central Finland. Uh, we have our roots in back in history. Uh, teacher seminary started in 1863, and we are direct descendant of that. Here's more facts and figures about our university. And then Open Science Center OSC is a coalition of the Jyväskylä Univers University Library and the University Museum. Um, among other things, we promote open science practices and we have uh, large collections that ranges uh, from plant and animal specimens to cultural historical artifacts and pre Gutenberg books to modern e-books and e-journals. And we are also one of the Finnish libraries that have a legal deposit collection. We have about 1.5 million items. For example, in Koha. Uh, then about my team, I work in OSC development and system support team. Uh, we do development around and between our own core systems. And we do pay based Uh, we do development utilizing APIs. Uh, we retrieve data on another our system, and so on. For those who don't know what an API stand and or, or the rest api means um here are definitions according to english wikipedia but in us if we keep this simple um, it's just api it's just programs talk with each other and exchange information and in rest api the things are done over the internet. And here are the applications, what we have done. First, there's a mobile library card for MyU mobile app. Then there's a bulk mark record importer, and then a script that writes of expired files. Mayu is a mobile app for students that, and that is also available for staff members. Students have their daily schedules there. There's menus of the campus restaurants, campus maps, and etc. It is developed in our university by universities, digital services. 
and uh, we have developed uh, a connection to Kova. So it now can be used as a library card. Now students and staff members can register themselves as new patrons if they are not already uh, our patrons. And the program checks using the Finnish personal identification number whether an existing account be found. And if there already is an account, it retrieves the existing library card barcode and creates a new account. Then there's a Markeria bulk mark record importer. In previous library system, we used uh, and use Markon program, a rule-based mark record manipulation program. Uh, we uh, run it in server-side script, uh, which as a part of server-side script, uh, which imported mark records to the library system. And now we develop something similar that does things even better. We combined a web interface with the use Markon and added a functionality that imports, imports converted mark records into Koha via REST API. In web interface, you just upload a file, then you choose the co conversion rule set which is to be used, and then you transfer, uh, you convert the records by, by pushing a button. And here you can see nine records are converted, no errors, and you can just import records to the Koha just pushing a button. And then there's a script that writes of expired fines. Um, expired payments are not eligible for collection, so we have to remove them. Previously, uh, the payments were manually removed based on a COHA report. Now we have a script that handles the removal of payments daily. Conclusion, uh, if we have a good and good functional and comprehensive API, we can streamline workflows and develop new functionalities outside the library system. And the software development can be done using a, which program language you prefer, which expands the the available experts that are available. This is very short, but now you have time for questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. I'm Oscar Audio from Turku City Library. I have a question about uh, my Uvascula card. Yeah. Electronic library card, is it uh, using only code 39 barcodes, or is there any error it, ID functionality? Or? There's a barcode. It generates a barcode if it, 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 it doesn't exist already in the library system. It creates a barcode automatically. We are using barcodes, yes. Yes, thank you.
Can you can you tell us a bit about the the yeah, major problems you found when integrating with APIs of Koha? Uh, for example, there was uh, we the, uh, the identification identification number is stored as uh, extensive attribute in Koha, and there was no uh, functionality in, in REST API to search it extensive uh, attributes. So, so we have to make a work around how, how to get it. Uh, and how, that, that is, was one of the problems. Well, uh, I actually wanted to ask the same question, so uh, um, I was kind of asked, uh, I wanted to ask the same question, but uh, what interests me now is um, if you like introduce new API routes into Koa, do you use, um, do you like modify the, the source of Koa or do you no. use Koa plugins to? We, we, we don't want to touch Koa. Okay, that's, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, well, it clears it up. Uh, I just want to ask uh, these APIs which you are using, uh, is it that internal, you know, whether there is some documentation link where if anyone want to use it, can refer? You are talking about Koha REST API documentation or? Okay, uh, uh, you are saying that is the open source, that all the API document documentation is already there? Yeah, yes, the, yeah. Uh, all the APIs are in the Koha, and uh, you have used all those APIs only, not any internally uh, your team has built during the yes. implementation. O only Koha REST API. This, okay, it was this, the Koha. These case, in these cases, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks again for the presentation. Is, is, there, is the code available anywhere that we can? Uh, not at this moment yet. Any plan? Uh, yes, maybe in the future we have to check what what if there is something which we we have to do. Yes, thank you for this presentation. And one question about uh, development and where do you get these uh, uh, needs and ideas? How is the uh, dialogue uh, between the users and developers? Uh, done in your library. Are there any uh, structures for that or is it in a coffee room where you meet it's and who is the strongest and, and loudest <laughs> gets <laughs> their uh, will through or how is it? We, we have a work group that is basically uh, the, in the chief level, they, they decide what, uh, which ideas are going to be developed further. And uh, we are a small organization and we are very flexible. But where do you get the ideas? Uh, from the staff and from our own heads to that things could be done differently. Because we know quite well uh, how a library works and how the library system works. And I've been in this business about more than 20 years and now I know how library systems work, uh, how our, our workforce works. So from that, for example. Okay, so just to clarify, so is this like expired fees script? Yep. Can you share that script? Or is it also classified? I think, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it, not, not, it, it is not, but it, it, it requires a, it's environment where they run. We run things in Docker containers. If, if you have a place where to run it, then so. Not yet, but maybe <laughs> you organize that. Thanks. Okay.
Thank you very much.